Hello everybody, this is me Johan here. I've been using the rolled out version of One UI 3.0 on top of Android 11 on my Samsung S10 Lite for over a month now. How is it overall? Is it a major change over the previous One UI version 2.1? Let's find out. Visually it looks more cleaner and aesthetically overall feels more polished when compared to the previous version 2.1. Performance wise Samsung state they have optimized it with enhanced dynamic memory allocation and also restricted background usage. In real world usage, yes, I feel that the animations are a lot smoother and the phone feels even snappier than before. Performance wise, it's been great. The only issue I faced was that on two occasions, Instagram wouldn't load for some time. The problem was sorted out in less than half a minute on both occasions. I especially liked the fact that I could access widgets like digital well-being, weather, my last played song on Spotify, schedule next alarm on just tapping on the lock screen clock twice. It was also convenient to change my always on display settings. I had to just tap the always on display clock twice, tap the settings icon that appears instantly and then log in my fingerprint to get straight into the always on display settings. I also like that we can now set a call background picture as well as a video clip of a duration of 15 seconds while making a call. One thing I still do not appreciate is Samsung Daily. Although a lot more customizable, it's still aesthetically cartoonish and not professionally laid out. The gallery app pictures, albums and stories are now laid out in a more organized and user-friendly manner. The three bar line is a quick access to our videos, favorites, shared albums, settings and a few more. Samsung's keyboard has further improved with better feedback and spaced out size-wise and really provides a satisfying typing experience. I also in particular like the added emojis and sticker suggestions while typing a text-based emotion. Handy and useful. I also like the much more polished look and easily accessible feel of the settings page. I in particular found the search menu in settings a lot more user-friendly with recently searched tags and also tags for specific settings which make the experience now a lot more simplified and less complicated. I also love the quick access to the live captions to the left whenever a video plays. The new layout of the quick access to the volume, controls of volume, notifications, ringtones and media now look a lot more appealing and yes, easier to use. Apart from this, all the usual Android 11 security editions are included as well. I won't go into depth here as there are enough of Android 11 videos out there to check it out from. The fingerprint scanner hasn't gotten any faster. It's just as it was before. You need to tap and pause a bit for it to unlock. Finally, the battery statistics are now much more detailed and precise, displaying standby and screen on time. In terms of actual battery life, has it held up well? In terms of usage, standby was almost the same. One day with very heavy usage and a screen on time anywhere between six to seven hours by the time it hit 10% of charge always. Keep in mind, I make on an average two to three hours of Zoom calls every day. Battery life is as stellar and a bit more improved over One UI 2.1. Now to conclude, Yes, One UI 3.0 has been a very meaningful and thoughtfully laid out upgrade over 2.1. I'm usually not a person fond of skins, preferring stock Android over anything. But One UI 3.0 has grown on me and Samsung skin is getting closer to perfection. So that's it for me today, guys. I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys loved the video, I'd appreciate it if you guys could give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and do hit the bell icon so that you all get notified with the latest and greatest videos the second they uploaded on YouTube by me. So what else can I say? Wishing all of you a tremendous day ahead of you. Ciao for now.